This is the Gerber strong arm. It includes this sort of nylon, flimsy nylon piece that's used for locking your knife into place so that you can carry it vertically. Uh, locks with these snaps. So you can carry it vertically at your side like that or so that you can attach it to molly gear with the, uh, the snaps on here. And it also has this little slip stick on the back of it. The molly slip stick so that you can fit your molly webbing through there and slip it in and lock it into place. This detaches through this button or snap and it comes off. It's easier to get off with the knife unsheathed. But it's, it's really rather flexible. Um, as you can see it sort of dangles on the knife when it's attached to the knife, just sort of dangles freely and loose around. Uh, and that's the only option they give you for vertical carry. This attachment, a little, uh, looks like it's a injection molded piece of plastic that fits in with the Molly slip stick so that you can horizontally carry your knife on your belt. So it fits right in there, slip stick slides in, and there you go. Give you a nice vertical atta or a horizontal attachment. Now what confounds me is why they didn't include something like this for your vertical attachment piece as well. What I've designed is instead a way to simply carry it vertically using the same slip stick design as this horizontal plastic design. You can see it's just a piece of Kydex, 0.093 Kydex, with holes cut in specific locations here for versatility that I'll show you later. A groove cut here, or a hole cut here for attachment to the sheath itself. And then there's this little tongue piece that folds out. The tongue piece fits right under here where your snap piece would go through. And then this just presses down over the top of the loops and you slide your slip stick, slip stick up and through, and it locks into place. Just like that. It's very secure, holds well, you know, and then that way it's not rattling around much, and that's a much more secure way for you to carry it vertically. It's that simple. Sheath slips in, knife slips into the sheath, comes out just as easily. The holes that are cut in the top of it can be mounted to a leather belt loop like this one. You can mount it at this height, you can also mount it lower so that it rides, so it can ride low, or you can have it ride about this high. You can also take the leather, leather belt loop off, detach it, and these holes will fit a tech lock, large tech lock. Also di through um, diagonal use of a couple of the holes, you can attach a small tech lock as well as a Spyderco G clip. You can mount a molly lock on it. You can also mount on it an AB3 belt clip as shown here. And I'll show that through quick detachment with the knife still in the sheath and I can attach on this other piece with the AB3 belt clip attached just like that. The AB3 belt clip is like the G clip just simply snaps over the top of your belt Oops. like so. And you can carry it fixed to your side. And then it's quick off as well. This clip will also allow you to slip it onto your Molly gear as needed. These holes can attach. This is a, a Gen 1 Molly lock, which you can attach to the center holes right here. Or you can attach them here. You can also attach it to the side like that or to this side using the top and bottom holes. You can also attach it diagonally like that. This is a Gen 2 Molly Lock or Gen 3. I'm not sure which generation um, Blade Tech's on on these yet. Same sort of thing. It's got these holes in the center which can be mounted in a variety of ways at a variety of heights to your strong arm extension piece. This is Spider Code G Clip. It's probably easier to show you on the back here that it can mount this hole and this hole, couple of screws, you've got it attached and you've got your G-clip mounted.
This is a large tech lock. So I don't know if you can see that. You can mount it here and here. You can flip it over and mount it the other way if you want. There's just a wide variety of options for attachment. Another option is with the leather belt loop, you can remove the screws and just take a piece of paracord. This is an eight inch piece of paracord that I've got and just slip it through the top holes like that. Put it through your leather belt loop, tie a little knot like that. And now you've got yourself a dangler attachment. It's that simple, cheap, quick, easy. Here's your Gerber again. Just slip it on, lock it into place, and there you go. You can attach that to your side. Oop, there's my belt. See? Wide variety of options, be it dangler, tack lock, G-clip, molly lock, AV3 belt clip, you name it. I do also have these in black, so in case you have a black Gerber strong arm, you can also get a black leather belt loop to go along with a black Gerber extension. With each Gerber extension that you wish to purchase, you also have the option of, you know, your color, whether it be coyote brown or black Kydex, brown or black leather belt loop, attachment hardware, an AB3 belt clip with attachment hardware, and if you need it, I'll include a piece of eight inch paracord for dangler carry. Nice, lightweight polypropylene leg straps with side release buckle. and an adjustable length. So there you have it. Just send me an email. You don't have to spend 40, 50, 60 dollars on a custom Kydex sheath. And the stock sheath is great the way it is. It just needs a small adapter. That's it. So save money, drop me a line, enjoy your carry.